Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Kenny Lee coming with today's daily devotional. I hope that you're enjoying your Saturday today, that you're able to get out and spend some time with your family, maybe be outdoors if you can get out early or later in the day when it's a little bit cooler. It's been pretty tough in terms of heat this week. I want to share with you a passage of scripture from the book of Romans, chapter 3, beginning with verse 21. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been disclosed and is attested by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction, since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. They are now justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by His blood, effective through faith. He did this to show his righteousness, because in his divine forbearance he had passed over the sins previously committed. It was to prove at the present time that he himself is righteous, and that he justifies the one who has faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of boasting it is excluded. By what law? By that of works? No, but by the law of faith. For we hold that a person is justified from faith apart from works prescribed by the law. Or is God the God of Jews only? Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one, and he will justify the circumcised on the ground of faith and the uncircumcised through that same faith. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. This is the word of God for us today. Paul speaks to us across two millennia to remind us that we have all fallen short of the glory of God, that there are none of us who are righteous. The scripture says, no, not even one. We have all followed our own ways, and we, like sheep, have been led astray. We have strayed away from the fold of God. We have failed to be who God created us to be. But it is through the gift of Jesus Christ, through his atoning sacrifice as the spotless, sinless Lamb of God, that Jesus makes a way for us. He bridges the gap between sinful humanity and righteous Almighty God. What Jesus did on the cross paid it all for us. And the only thing we can say is thanks be to God. And the only way we can receive this gift is by believing that God who is who God says he is, that God has done what God says he has done, what he has promised. And the one thing that scripture reminds us is that God is always faithful to keep his promises, that when something is written down in that book, that God is faithful to that. We, however, fail to live into our part of the covenant promise and and so it requires God through the person of Jesus Christ to come and complete all the requirements of the law to fully live into the sinless perfection of the spirit of the law not the letter of the law remember the letter of the law kills but the spirit of the law brings life the law is meant to show us the full magnitude and impact of sin. The law cannot lead us to faith in Jesus Christ. The law cannot save us because if the law could save us, Jesus wouldn't have needed to come. The law shows us the full scope of our fallen nature. And God's Holy Spirit comes to breathe new life into us, to convict us of our sins, and to bring us to faith in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. I want to share an old hymn with you. This is um, another reawakened hymn, an acoustic version of Just As I Am. Let us um, let's listen together. I do not own the rights to this song.
you into a moment of prayer with me. God, we thank you for an invitation into your presence today. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, that Lamb of God, who lived into all of the commandments, who was obedient to the law. And yet, God, sinful humanity condemned him falsely condemned him and turned him over to the cruelty of the Roman Empire to be publicly executed humiliated God you took all of the hatred all of the sin onto yourself in the person of Jesus Christ How can we thank you enough, Lord, for all that you've done for us? How can we ever repay Almighty God for the mercy, for the faithful love, for the grace that is new to us every morning? Lord, we can simply come. We can bow before you. We can confess our sins and know that you are faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. God, we thank you for your grace and ask today that you would continue to lead us in the way that leads to life as we seek to follow Jesus. For it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you again on Monday. Have a great one.